Wolf back. Why do players still play like this? This isn't a rare commodity. Most players in your lobbies are playing like this too. Are you taking advantage of getting these easy ass kills? Or are you hiding in the corner with a heartbeat since like a baby back? Like the video, subscribe today. I'm angry, I'm sorry. Whew. Wolf back, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on it. Get this video to 500 likes. Subscribe to the channel today. But, shit. All right, fuck, I don't have time for my headphones. Rip. All right, we're just going to have to fist this kid to death with no audio. Tavis, the audio in this game is so shit. You don't need it. You just got to move your feet. I will say, though, you guys have been getting a lot more aggressive in the Ghoulies here lately. I've been dying a lot more. I went from a 97% win rating in the Ghoulie to, like, a, a 92. So y'all are stepping it up, man. We have Lodi drop. And look, right off the bat, I'm just going to recommend to you guys. I can tell by the lack of slide canceling. Well, he might be cracked out. We'll see. Um, that if I had a guess or Katie just on their, the way they move, just on their walking, and it'll be listed right here at the bottom, so I, I can look like an idiot. I'm gonna guess a, a 0.9. I'm gonna say 0.9 from your boy. Um, but what I what I want to say is, if you guys are struggling with your gunfights, if you guys are struggling getting high kills, you've got to hot drop. You have to. If you guys join my training program, I'm gonna make you motherfuckers hot drop a lot, a lot, my dude. You have to do it. You just fucking have to, man. Um. You got to get practice with your fighting abilities. Playing passive and winning and doing recons, I'm all for that, baby. Get it. But if you're doing recons and playing passive and holding zones and stuff like this and you get to a decent team fight or a team that's somewhat sweating, you're probably going to lose the gunfight. So if you guys lack gun skill, make sure you're hot dropping. I highly recommend it. Or, you know, rebirth or resurgence of some form. Fuck, even plunder, dude. Go after fighting. Don't sit on the back and snipe people. Don't shoot long range. Push people shit in. You guys can master tracking close range. You guys can master movement mid gunfight close range. Guess what? It'll translate into the rest of your gameplay. Fire the airstrike here. Here we have it. Okay, here we have an enemy. It's He's cracked right now. So what I would do, what me and my squad would do, the moment he's cracked, we would push. We wouldn't even waste the, the precision. We'll just push down to the tents and close the gap and hopefully kill them when players are sitting here on a hill like this they're afraid of going inside why are players afraid of going inside it's a valid reason too but why savage because they're camping you're damn right they're camping you're damn right but you know what we get killed by campers all the time but here's the thing about campers they're not better than you they're not better than me they're they're worse they might get lucky but the odds of us losing to campers are a lot lower than you think they are Every time we push teams, I probably win 60, maybe even 70%. I'd say 70 to 80% of my, my fights fighting campers. I die the other 20 or 30%, but most of my fights I win. But at least I'm trying, right? These guys, they will, they don't know because they don't close the gap. They're just going to sit here, waste all this ammo, waste all this time, and possibly get clapped in the back or third partied. Or this team's going to go back in the building and run the fuck away. Either way, this is going to be a very hard fight for them to win. Even if they get knocked, they've got all that cover to hide behind and wait for the res. So basically, long story short, stop wasting your time doing fights like this, bro. Close the gap. Like right now, here's another opportunity to close the gap. Will they? Fuck no, they won't. You're damn right they won't. But Savage, what if they die? No. You fight, man. You got to practice, my guy. It's like, it's like going to the golf course and not hitting the ball because you want to get a hold in one, but you're so afraid you're not going to get a hold in one, you're just not going to hit the ball. Doesn't make any goddamn sense, does it? Oh, weird. There's the enemies leaving. Who would have fucking guessed that? Now, look, he does have to cross in the wide open, but you see these tents right here? All he's got to do is what he did. Instead of just running out in the open, just run back to the tents and use that as cover. So we've wasted almost all of our ammo just for these guys to move to another building to camp. And I'm for them shooting at the enemies. I really am. Try to get that knock if you can and push across. But the moment he broke away, dude, I would have started pushing across. I held on to that precision. That way, as I'm running up, if the enemies peek the ledge in the building, I can throw that precision and suppress those motherfuckers. No audio from plane crashes. The planes have been real weird. I had an enemy uh, crash a plane right next to me, jump out and kill me. Never heard the plane. 
Never had any idea who's next to me. Nothing. No audio. Poof. Motherfucking myth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Just okay. this. Oh my God, K pubs is getting fucked up. Oh, look at that bush. We're, mm, we're like a chameleon. We're just gonna become one with the bush and camouflage with it. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. You know, I'm curious. We're just gonna go ahead and look it up right now. Y'all already see the Katie's, but I've, I've got to see it. I was given a point nine to be nice and give myself a little room to wiggle, but I'd say point, I, my instinct said point seven three. That was my instinct. Let's see. What, let's see which one was right. But they are console players too. Um, but she has oh my god, I should have stuck with my first one. 1.25. And again, Katie does not translate skill. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Katie does not matter in a BR. We've spectated people with a three plus Katie who literally sit and get two or three kills a game. Right? We've seen it. But they're in some sweat lobbies though, I'll be honest. Jesus Christ. Their lobbies are harder than mine. They have 1.3, 1.3, 1.3, 1.33. 1.3 lobbies are pretty sweaty. They're not the craziest. We get 1.5s and some 2KD lobbies every now and then, believe it or not. Um, but it's not that consistent. We'll get like a 1.5, then like a 1.1, a then a 1.3. Look at the look at the aim. Look at the aim. What? How did he win that fight? He hit him one time. He hit him one time, my guy. Now let's talk about that. Let's talk about this tracking. Notice that he couldn't catch up to the enemy. The reason why we'll discuss in my uh, my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. No, I'm kidding. We will talk about that and I'll adjust your sensitivity settings, but that's all it is. Your ADS sensitivity needs to be sped up. If you're having trouble keeping up with the enemy in a close quarter fight like that, if your gameplay looks just like that, loosen up your sensitivity, man. Wiggle a little bit more. If it's too strict, that's what you're going to run into. I can't believe you killed that guy. I'll be honest. I will be honest. Wow. That dude was literally just... Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real. These guys are in a struggle bus, son. These KD... The lobbies don't make any fucking sense. I'm gonna be real. Like I said, my KD lobbies will get like a 1.5. It'll drop like a 1.1. 1.08. 1.2. 1.13. 1.4. 1.5. 1.6. 1.7. 1.8. 1.9. 1.10. 1.11. 1.12. 1.13. 1.14. 1.15. 1.16. 1.17. 1.18. 1.19. 
And you might be thinking to yourself, Savage, 1.25 is not that good. You're right. But remember the remember the players that are in your lobby. Me. Right? Someone else. My KD today is like a 4.27. My KD overall is about a 2 because I spectate 90% of my game plays. So I die a lot, right? But my gameplay from today before I started spectating was a 4.27. That's probably a little embellishing what my actual KD is. I think I'm probably like a low 3 KD player, to be honest, if I had to guess. Um, don't want to prop myself up too much. But the fact that I'm in this kid's lobby, I shouldn't be. But that's where we're at. This conversation more or less turned more into me rambling about SBMM and the complaints with it. But I hear your all's complaints. I see on Twitter. I see on the comment section, man. I feel for y'all. I really do. SBMM is a fucking weird thing, man. Either A, remove it, or B, make it make sense. Make it make sense. At least if there was an SBMM, the chance of you being in a GOATS lobby would be a lot less. Because right now they're throwing a lot of good players in these lobbies just to fill it. Just to balance the KD out. I think, it's, I think his ADS is okay long range. He just needs to, he just needs to change his close range ADS sensitivity. Go back to Slider. We've kind of abandoned him. Let's look up Slider's KD real quick. Y'all already see it, but I don't. So I'm like, y'all don't see it. A 1.10 KD. All right. Um, 39 wins overall. His last... Man, he's been playing all fucking day. My man's a grinder. Got respect, son. But... Um... He hasn't dropped more than four kills in a single Battle Royale game. He hasn't dropped more than four kills in a single BR game. I'm not hating. I want to throw that out there. Oh, shit. No, definitely not cheating. So, again, I want to... If you struggle, if you're in this element, if you're like, Savage, I struggle getting 4K. If this is you, hot drop all the time. Peak, peak, peak. Fuck, even if you don't want to hot drop, when you jump on a plane, follow somebody and hunt them down. Try to force yourself to fight enemies. I'm a PUBG former player. We would play position. We would play for wins. I would play similar to Iron's gameplay. He's a former PUBG player as well. That's how you play BR. But we can win our gunfights, right? So, if you guys are struggling getting those wins, make sure, again, you're hot dropping and fighting as much as you fucking can so you can be more efficient when it comes to in-game situations. But I will say, going back to what I was saying, I'm rambling a lot, I'm sorry. Um, when, when I started playing with teammates who were kill grinders, because I was a win grinder, when I started playing with teammates who didn't give a fuck about winning, they gave a fuck about getting kills, and I started giving a fuck about kills. My PR at the time was probably, I think it was like 21, 22. It wasn't anything crazy. Still better than a lot, but it wasn't crazy. I started hot dropping with these guys and, and learning to solo split because they would go off on their own and force me to be by myself in a quads game. And I'd get pissed, but I'd have to do it. I'd have to fight it out. Now, my PR is 37. I've dropped multiple 30 games. Can't even count over the course of the last three months. Again, not flexing. I'm just showing you how much I grew as a player. Just by being put in situations I'm not comfortable with. So Dan the man just fucked him up with the RPG. LOL. <laughs> he was baiting that. My man was waiting for that all fucking day. Wow. But guys! Don't forget to try a new flavor from Sneak Energy. Peach Tea. Facebook exclusive. Make sure you join their Facebook community. And buy this shit. I fucking hate peaches. I hate them. They suck. This here, bro. This is the one. This is the one. Use code Savage to check out boys. All right, now let's discuss regains. We are in a rough spot. Uh, there's really not much we can do to regain at all. Don't know where we're going. Oh, we're, oh, oh, this is not what you do. I mean. Who downed him? What nuts? Did we fist him? I don't, I don't think we even got close. Oh, another squad. All right, here we are moving on to aim assist on. Uh, did not help you. And no girlfriend. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's funny. All right, moving on to PR times three. Is that like a P90X type thing? 
we're looking down but the guys above us this guy right here is below us again arrow above means he's floating above you arrow below means he's below you that's pretty common sense i think brody og rocking seven and his boy luffy rocking four playing pretty aggro pushing the solo not surprised there get his ass baby Remember, is it, yeah, good job by Luffy pinging that blue ping because you know that guy's in the building. Brody's still eager challenging the shit out of this. We need to get out of this position. I don't like this. Just run. Get out of here. Run away. Don't worry about this guy. This guy already bailed out too. And you're you're being su suppressed by these dudes. So we got to jump down. Luffy making the smart move. Thank God. Oh, that's unfortunate. So these positions here are hard as fuck to fight in. I'm glad we're in it because now we have multiple teams that are going to be shooting at us. I know we're here and there's also a team, uh, I think here that was shooting at them. So no matter what we do, we have to fight a team. Sometimes you're forced in positions where you have to fight. This is one of those spots. We decide, fuck it, we're just going to run. We might make it safe, but these guys are paying attention. The odds of that are very, very slim. Guys above us shooting at Brody. Got our left-hand side. We are oblivious. Do not see him at all. We're just full commitment to the run. Literally next to our mini-map. Oh, no. We got lucky making it here. I think we're definitely pushing our luck. Parachute the fuck out of here, my guy. They're dead. They don't take this parachute. They're fucking dead. I'm saying, bro, they were in a very hard spot. I'm so, I'm shocked. I'm fucking shocked they made it here. I, if I had to bet money on it, I would have said they wouldn't have made it here. Shocked. But the fact that we did, we had to dip out of here instantly. We knew there were multiple teams around us. So these guys should not be surprised one fucking bit. He's got decent movement, got decent breakaway, got decent snaps. But again, decision making is a little off, my guy. We're trying to hold this spot for some odd reason. Don't forget about the guys that are left, too. We're getting lucky they're not focused on us also. And here they are, finally focused on us again. And your luck has run out. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was wrong in the sense that they made it. I really thought we should have fought it out, but the guys we refused to fight, we ended up having to fight later on anyway, and we lost to. Crazy to me, bro. Wild. Your homie's legit bleeding out right now. And we're just like, fuck it. Could get a UAV up. If you were going to go to the buy, at least buy a UAV. That way you can find out where the enemies are. He wants that precision so bad, or that cluster so bad, he's just going to throw the UE in the trash. <clears throat> Savage, I can never find enemies. I never know where they're at. I'm always being third partied. It's your own fucking fault most of the time. I'm sorry to I'm sorry to be rude, but I'm telling you, it's mostly y'all's fault. When I'm third party, most of the time it's my fault too. If you're sitting on cash, bro, there's no reason for you guys to get shocked and surprised. There's no reason at all. A lot of you guys are now like, well, Savage. If you would, I'm sorry. But well, Savage, if you would have bought a UAV. He wouldn't have been able to buy his teammate back. Guess what? If he would have had a UAV, he wouldn't have gotten shot and killed by a guy up there. Plot twist. And he died again anyway. And again, one kill, bro. One. Let me ask you guys. Hot dropping over and over and over. What do you have to lose? Prepare for rest, right? Nothing rhetorical, not a goddamn thing, bro. You're not gonna lose nothing. I feel bad for players like this. I really do. And that's what, and again, that's why I started the channel, man. Cause I saw how I was evolving and how I was getting better and the things that I used to do and the things that I ended up correcting in order to be a better player. And I just wanted to pass that shit on to you guys. But two and a half years later, we're still spectating players doing the same shit, man. 
And it's like, I hate sitting here being a broken record. I really do. It's annoying, but clearly the message had to come across to a lot of players, dude. Being aware of your HUD at all times is highly crucial. We've been spectating way too many players over the last the last month who just don't buy correct shit. They don't use their money most of the damn time. Right now, here we are in a 1v7 situation. Not too shabby, honestly. There's a few solos out there. What, duo, duo, and three solos? Oh, brother. We've got a decent terrain as well. This is a good spot to get to. Right here, right, uh, right here would be a good spot to get to right here. All we got to do is try our best to work there. I take the gas damage for this. I'm not against that at all. Oh, you are lagging 200 pinging. This is the wrong 300 ping. That's the wrong time. Mom, get off Pornhub. That's unfortunate, dude. That is unfortunate. Thanks a lot, Mom. Thanks a lot. I think he did a good play pushing through there. Unfortunately, because of the lag, he was delayed in plating up and he just got caught out. That sucks. He almost won that gunfight, even even being mid plating. The duo duo solo right now. Technically, I guess it's a solo solo duo. What are you doing, my guy? You gonna play the game? You gonna loot? Your teammate's dead for sure, right? But again, dude, start worrying about these positions. Right here would be a great spot. Stay on the high ground. Stay on the high. Fuck it. Don't stay on the high ground. Come down here and lay prone. That's the fucking way. Good job by our teammate getting the ping off. It's probably saving your ass. You see him. Oh, yeah. This, this, this dude's dead. This kid's about to shit all over us. Watch. Oh, here's, here's the prone. Here it is. Thank God he laid prone, man. Fucking play.